हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग क्लासेस फॉर पी एन अमर से हाई स्कूल वी विल कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर नंबर 11 पैरामीटर एंड एरिया नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद आवर एक्सरसाइज 11.4 क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 टू क्रॉस रोड्स ईच ऑफ विद 10 मीटर कट एट राइट एंगल्स थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर पार्क ऑफ लेंथ 700 मीटर एंड ब्रेथ 300 मीटर एंड पैरेलल टू इट्स साइड find the area of the roads also find the area of the park excluding cross roads give the answer in hectares now students let us solve sum number 6 and before solving the sum let us understand the question with the help of this figure here in this question it was given that two cross road each of width 10 meter cut at right angles through the center of the rectangular park of length 700 meter and breadth 300 meter here this is a rectangular park whose length is 700 meter and breadth is 300 meter where two cross roads two roads which are crossing each other is to be made with width 10 meter here in this question we have to find out the area of the road and the area of the park excluding the road and we have to give the answer in hectares so students what we will do first we will find out the area of this park entire park taking length 700 meter and breadth 300 meter so first we will find out the area of the park students here area of the park equals to length into breadth where length was 700 and breadth was 300 so 700 multiplied by 300 will be 2 lakh 10000 meter square now students we have to find out the area of these two cross roads so to find out the area of the cross road what we will do we will find out the area of this cross road one that is a b c d we will name this cross road as a b c d then the another cross road that is e f e f g h this is the another cross road by adding the area of these two cross road we will get the area of the road but students here you can see when we are taking the area of this a b c d we have taken this part of road also and when we are taking the area of finding out the area of e f g h then also we are taking this much part again so what we will do first we will find out the area of road a b c d then we will find out the area of road e f g h and we will find out the area of the road i j k l also as this much road we are taking twice so one time we will subtract this the area of this much road to get the exact area of the road students yahan par aapko area of road find out karna hai सो so, उसके लिए आप पहले एरिया ऑफ वन फर्स्ट क्रॉस रोड दिस इज फर्स्ट क्रॉस रोड एंड दिस इज सेकेंड क्रॉस रोड पहले आप फर्स्ट क्रॉस रोड का एरिया फाइंड आउट करेंगे एंड देन सेकेंड क्रॉस रोड का एरिया फाइंड आउट करेंगे एंड ये जो पार्ट है आई जे के एल ये ए बी सी डी रोड में भी आता है एंड ई एफ जी एच रोड में भी आता है सो so, ये पार्ट जो है वो ट्वाइस आ रहा है तो आप इसको एक बार माइनस करेंगे देन यू विल गेट द एग्जैक्ट एरिया ऑफ the road so here students first we will find out the area of road 1 that is a b c d where this is the length of road a b c d so here this much is 700 so the length of the cross road a b c d will be 700 and width it is given in the question that the width of the road is 10 meter and then we will find out the area of road e f g h where the length is 300 and breadth is 10 meter and then we will find out the area of ijkl see this much is 10 meter and this much is also 10 meter this is also 10 meter and this is also 10 meter so in this way we will find out the area of ijkl also so students let abcd is one cross road and efgs is another cross road length of abcd is 700 meter as i've explained you now length of efgf gh is also 300 meter breadth of both the cross road is 10 meter which i've explained you now first we will find out area of abcd cross road 
the, to find out the area of cross road ABCD, the formula is length multiplied by breadth, where length is 700 and breadth is 10. So, 700 multiplied by 10 will be 7000 meter square. So, area of ABCD cross road is 7000 meter square. Then, area of EFGH cross road. The formula to find out the area of EFGH cross road is length into breadth, where length is 300 and breadth is 10. 300 multiplied by 10 is 3000 meter square. So, area of EFGH cross road is 3000 meter square. Now area of IJKL road length multiplied by breadth where length was 10 and breadth was also 10. So 10 multiplied by 10 is 100 meter square. As I've explained you earlier to find out the area of the roads area of ABCD plus area of EFGH minus area of IJKL. So area of ABCD was 7000 area of EFGH was 3000 and area of IJKL was 100. So 7000 plus 3000 minus 100. 7000 plus 3000 is 10,000 minus 100 we will write as it is. Now 10,000 minus 100 is 9900 meter square. So the area of the roads of the two cross road is 9900 meter square. Now students we have to convert this area into hectare also. So 1 hectare equals to 10,000 meter square as you all know. So, 9900 meter square equals to question mark. 9900 into 1 divided by 10,000 will be 0 0.9900 into 1 upon 10,000 will be 0 0.99. So, therefore, the area of the crossroads is 0 0.99 hectares. So, next students in this question, it was asked to find out the area of the park excluding the cross road and to find out the area of the park excluding the cross road, we will separate area of roads from area of park. Here we will write area of park excluding road equals to area of park minus area of road. Area of park was to like 10,000 and area of the roads was 9,900. By subtracting 9,900 from 2 like 10,000, we will get 2 like 100 meter square. Students, we have to convert the area of park excluding the road into hectares. Also, 1 hectare equals to 10,000 meter square. So, 2 lakh 100 meter square will be equals to how many hectares? So, by subtract, dividing 2 lakh 100 from 10,000, we will get 20.01 hectare. Therefore, the area of the park excluding the road is 20.01 hectare. Now, students, sum number 7, you have to do it by yourself. We move to question number 8. Pragya wrapped a cord around a circular pipe of radius 4 cm adjoining figure and cut off the length required of the cord. Then she wrapped it around a square box of the side 4 cm also shown. Did she have any cord left? Take pi equals to 3.14. Students say what is given in the question is that Pragya has wrapped a cord. This is a cord which Pragya has wrapped around a circular pipe. After wrapping the cord. She has cut the cord. Now the same cord she wants to wrap on a square with side 4 cm. Now we have to find out whether she, le she has left any cord or not. Now solution for sum number 8. Here radius of the circular pipe is equals to 4 cm. It's given in the question and side of the square is equals to 4 cm it's also given in the question here students first we will here find out the perimeter of the circular pipe that is circumference of the circle to find out the length of the cord and then we will find out the perimeter of the square and then by subtracting both we will find out whether any cord is left or not here first we will find out the perimeter of the circular pipe to find out the perimeter of the circular pipe, we will use the formula 2 pi r as perimeter and circumference are same. 2 we will write as it is, pi we will write 3.14 as it is given in the question and radius we will write 4 cm as it is given in the question. Now 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 4 will be 25.12 cm. Now students, the same cord of length 25.12 cm she has to wrap on the square box. So for that first we will find out the perimeter of the square. So perimeter of the square equals to 4 multiplied by side. 4 we will write as it is side was 4 cm given in the question. So 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 cm. 
Now, students, we have to find out the length of the cord left with pragya. For that, we will subtract perimeter of the circular pipe and perimeter of the square. Perimeter of circular pipe was twenty-five point twelve, and perimeter of the square was sixteen. So, twenty-five point twelve minus sixteen will be nine point twelve centimeter. Therefore, the cord left with pragya is nine point twelve centimeter. Now, we move to question number nine of exercise eleven point four. The adjoining figure represents a rectangular lawn with a circular flower bed in the middle. Find first the area of the whole lawn, second the area of the flower bed, third the area of the lawn excluding the area of the flower bed, and fourth the circumference of the flower bed. Students here, a rectangular lawn is given whose length is ten meter and breadth is five meter. Inside the rectangular lawn, a circular flower bed is made whose radius is two meter. and the following questions you have to solve on the basis of this figure so students now solution for sum number 9 here a rectangular lawn is given inside it a square a circular flower bed is given now first it was asked to find out the area of the whole land to find out the area of the whole land we will find out the area of this rectangular lawn So the length of the lawn is ten meter and breadth of the lawn is five meter. So area of the lawn equals to length into breadth. Here length is ten meter and breadth is five meter. So ten multiplied by five is fifty meter square. So the area of the lawn is fifty meter square. Students, in the next point, it is asked to find out the area of the flower bed. To find out the area of the flower bed, the formula is pi r square, where radius of the flower bed was two meter. It was given in the question. Pi we will write three point fourteen as it is given in the question. Three point fourteen multiplied by r square means two into two. So three point fourteen multiplied by two into two will be twelve point fifty six meter square. So the area of the flower bed is twelve point fifty six meter square. Now, students, in the third point, it was find it was asked to find out the area of the lawn excluding the area of the flower bed. To find out the area of the lawn excluding the area of the flower bed, we will subtract area of flower bed from area of lawn. So, area of lawn excluding the area of the flower bed equals to Area of lawn minus area of flower bed. Area of lawn we have calculated 50 m meter square, and area of flower bed we have calculated was 12.56 meter square. By subtracting 12.56 meter square from 50 meter square, we will get 37.44 meter square. So the area of the lawn, excluding the area of the flower bed, is 37.44 meter square. So students, in the fourth point, it was asked to find out the circumference of the flower bed. The circumference of the flower bed equals to two pi r. Two we will write as it is. Pi we will write three point fourteen and radius was two meter. It was given in the question. So two multiplied by three point fourteen multiplied by two will be twelve point five six meter. So the circumference of the flower bed is twelve point five six meter. Now question number ten. In the following figure, find the area of the shaded portion. Students, here two figures are given. We have to find out the area of this shaded portion. Here, two figures are given: Figure one and Figure two. Figure one, I will solve, and Figure two, you have to do it by yourself. Now, here in Figure one, you can see a rectangle is given A, B, C, D, whose length is eighteen centimeter and breadth is ten centimeter. Where A E is ten centimeter. E B is eight centimeter, B C is ten centimeter, D C is ten eighteen centimeter, F D is four centimeter, and A F is six centimeter. Now solution for sum number ten. Students here to find out the area of this shaded part that is E F D C. First we have to find out the area of triangle A E F and triangle E B C. And rectangle ABCD. We will subtract the area of AF, E, and EBC from the area of rectangle ABCD to get the area of EFDC. Students, यहाँ पे आपको EFDC part का area find out करना है. उसके लिए आप पहले एक 
रेक्टेंगल ए बी सी डी का एरिया फाइंड आउट करेंगे देन ए ई एफ ट्राइंगल का एरिया फाइंड आउट करेंगे देन ई बी सी ट्राइंगल का एरिया फाइंड आउट करेंगे देन आप लोग ट्राइंगल ए ई एफ और ई बी सी के एरिया को रेक्टेंगल ए बी सी डी के एरिया से सप्रैक्ट करेंगे देन यू विल गेट द एरिया ऑफ ई एफ डी सी सो स्टूडेंट द लेंथ ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी डी इज एटीन सेंटीमीटर एंड ब्रेथ इज टेन सेंटीमीटर इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट यू विल फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल ए बी सी डी सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल रेक्टेंगल ए बी सी डी इज लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ दैट इज एटीन इन टू टेन दैट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी विल फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए ई एफ whose base is 6 cm and height is 10 cm so students area of triangle aef equals to half into base into height half we will write as it is in the place of base we will write 6 and in the place of height we will write 10 now 2 ones are 2 3 is a 3 into 10 will be 30 cm square so area of triangle aef is 30 cm square Now, students, we will find out the area of triangle ABC whose base is eight and height is ten centimeter. Now, students, area of triangle ABC equals to half into base into height. Half we will write as it is in the place of base. We will write eight, and in the place of height, we will write ten. Two ones are two, fours are. We will divide in this manner, and four multiplied by ten will be forty centimeter square. So the area of triangle ABC is forty centimeter square. Now, students, area of EFDC will be area of rectangle ABCD minus in the bracket area of triangle AEF plus in area of triangle EBC. Area of triangle ABCD is one eighty. Area of triangle AEF was thirty, and triangle EBC was forty. So one eighty minus in the bracket thirty plus forty. Thirty plus forty will be seventy. So one eighty minus seventy will be One hundred and ten centimeter square. Therefore, the area of EFDC is one hundred and ten centimeter square. Now we move to the last question of this exercise eleven point four. Question number eleven. Find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. Here, AC is equals to twenty two centimeter, BM is equals to three centimeter, and DN is equals to three centimeter, and BM is perpendicular to AC, and DN is perpendicular to AC. Students, here. Quadrilateral ABCD is given. We have to find out the area of this quadrilateral, where AC is twenty-two centimeter, BM is three centimeter, and DN is three centimeter. Here BM and AC are perpendicular, and DN and AC are also perpendicular. Students, here to find out the area of the quadrilateral, what we will do? We have divided this triangle rectangle into quadrilateral into two parts. triangle abc and triangle adc we will find out the area of both the triangles and then we will add to get the area of the quadrilateral abcd now solution for sum number 11 ac is equals to 22 cm bm is equals to 3 cm and dn is equals to 3 cm bm is perpendicular to ac and dn is perpendicular to ac it is given So students, to find out the area of the quadrilateral, first we will find out the area of triangle ABC. Then we will find out area of triangle ADC. Now here in this triangle ABC, AC is the base and BM is the height. So base is twenty-two centimeter and height is three centimeter. So students, area of triangle ABC equals to half into base into height. Half we will write as it is base twenty-two centimeter and height was three centimeter. Now Two ones are two elevens are so eleven into three will be thirty three centimeter square. So area of triangle ABC is thirty three centimeter square. Now students, we will find out the area of triangle ADC where base is twenty two centimeter and height is three centimeter. So here area of triangle ADC will be half into base into height. Half we will write as it is, and in the place of base we will write twenty two, and in the place of height we will write three. Again, we will divide twenty-two by two. Two ones are two elevens are, and eleven into three will be thirty-three centimeter square. So, area of triangle ADC is thirty-three centimeter square. 
Now to find out the area of the quadrilateral ABCD, we will add area of triangle ABC and area of triangle ADC. Tri area of triangle ABC was 33 cm square and area of triangle ADC was also 33 cm square. 33 plus 33 will be 66 cm square. Therefore, area of quadrilateral ABCD is 66 cm square. Students, with this we end our chapter number 11. Thank you.